welcome back so let's fix that bug whatever we have seen in our last lecture of summing up two strings so how to convert a string to number in javascript it's very simple you just need to wrap that string in number method in javascript there is a method called number if you send a parameter of your string automatically it converts that string into number okay similarly you have to do it for sum as well because sum you have declared as zero by default javascript treats it as a string so you have to explicitly tell that hey this is a number and now you try to sum result whatever you get as a number with addition of to this sum okay so you need to do one more modification before making this script to work you know that obviously javascript is asynchronous at the time it goes inside this array to iterate each and every element meanwhile javascript is asynchronous and it will have zero in the sum and it will print cy dot log in the zero in the output because cypress have intelligence of running them in sequence okay but javascript do not have that intelligence right it will run in asynchronous mode so when you initialized sum equals to zero before completing this iteration it will quickly print this because the value is ready here so there should be some mechanism to tell exactly to wait until this array looping is done so that you can reach this particular command how do you tell that it's very simple you need to resolve promise right dot then function yeah so now basically it will log your sum only after this complete loop have iterated for each and every element so if you don't write this dot then then it will go into the asynchronous mode and all these are java script steps isn't it there is no cypress here so if it is a cypress command then it will have ability to wait before it goes to this step as it is java script that waiting is not there and it will quickly jump into printing this log of sum and by the printing it it's still iterating inside this so your value will be zero so to avoid this we are going to resolve promise so that only after you finish this loop then only move to the next step and print in your logs okay now save this project and check out your test runner execution you see that perfect the value of sum is clearly printed now just for a practice remove this dot then and try okay i am not doing this because i know the value will be zero but you will understand the importance of asynchronous in javascript and if you get a doubt in your mind how would i know that i have to put dot then here just think that this is not cypress so you have to carefully um look whenever you are dealing with non cypress steps in your file if it is cypress look at here all these are cypress commands and you happily uh, worked on that without worrying about promise but here this is not cypress text split trim all these are part of javascript that's the reason we resolve the promise okay our scenario is not yet done we have successfully summed up and we got one value called um how much is this 10 100000 1 lakh 5 1 lakh 15000 is our total sum but our goal is to compare the total sum to the value displayed here then only we can confirm that the sum functionality is working as expected but our major part is done that we are able to sum it up so now let's quickly spy this object and then again same story when you try to pull out this element h3 strong i guess h3 is the tag name of the parent so i am using parent to child traverse with the space okay i got it 
but still we need to pre process this because this does not sound looks good right we need to remove dollar dot which we already did here so it's very quick for us to fix this issue cy dot get and we need to work on the string what this written right basically you cannot do like this and you know the reason it's a jquery thing so let's resolve the promise then element element dot text and you just need to apply the same steps whatever you applied here as well and this time it's element here element dot text will get stored in the amount and then you are splitting it and then you are trimming so that you get the actual result here so once you get the actual result then it's time to compare the value what you got here which is sum to this result so this is total right so let me actually say var total equals to so the total what you got from your application is this and you summed up all your products which is the sum so you need to compare now these two values okay how do you do that any idea simple right you need to put assertion that's it only assertion matters here so how do you put assertion expect we already did i guess in the same lecture um where did we do expect equals to another one anyhow let's do it again but i do remember that i have explained this so if you want to compare any two strings or any two integers the command what you have is expect to dot equal right and the expected the two values whatever you want to compare you can put it here so if you are if you don't know how to get all these assertions i have already pointed to one web page in cypress so that you can go through that to understand and see how many different assertions we have yeah here we go so how do you compare two values or strings if that is your requirement then expect to equal this is to not equal so obviously if you remove not then expect to equal okay yeah here you go these are two numbers right how they are comparing numbers expect dot two dot equal so keep this entire page as reference you need not remember anything on your top of your mind regarding these assertions even i don't remember why do we need to waste our time there are at least some hundred assertions i guess so just have the documentation ready and then you can use it but only thing here is to you should have a logic to know that you have to compare two values to get the result thereafter if you use jasmine framework you will have one kind of syntax for using assertions if you use mocha framework you will have another kind of assertions if you keep on remembering like this there are totally thousand expects and no one does that all right so we were using the same concept here expect dot to equal so sum is having the total sum of all the products and the total what we have we grabbed it from this particular step okay but this is in string right remember you are comparing string with number so javascript fails saying that i got confused isn't it so let's convert that into number you know how to do that okay number is a method you can use and pass your argument which is total here so that we have successfully converted this string to number and then we are comparing to another number that we have successfully completed our scenario validation here so let's see the output magic okay so you see that this is an end to end automation what we did look at here expected is this value and it matches with your actual total perfect every step is successfully executed and all your assertions got passed 
until getting a success message. We did many validations, right? As part of this end-to-end -end script and we have successfully validated this total values as well. So my idea to teach this concept is to understand how do you convert from string to numbers because when you work in real time, you will see so many numbers in your web page. When you get them using your test, you need to process it properly to convert them into integer for further operations. All right. So that's pretty much about this scenario. And with this, we were good on completing end-to-end -end test on this e-commerce application. And do remember that you are also ready to make changes in your resume for Cypress skills because we were almost done. We have completed 80% of Cypress topics and you can start applying your jobs for Cypress. As I told in my beginning lecture, Cypress is booming like anything and there are no skill people found who have knowledge on this tool. As it is a new to the market, there are no online tutorials as well. So if you showcase your resume with Cypress experience, I know you may not have it, but still put it. Who, who asks you on that? You can still say that I worked in Cypress on my previous project. Okay, no one gonna go back and see if you have really worked on it. If you able to answer the Cypress questions what people are interviewing, then that's enough to them, right? So make sure you add those skills and start applying and move to your next level dream job. All right. So if you need any assistance to include points on Cypress tool, let me know so that I can sh send you some resume inputs on what you have to include for Cypress. Okay. You can send to this mail address. All right. So we will continue with whatever topics left for us from our next lecture. Thank you.